What's up everyone, this is Multitutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Vulkan-1 dot DLL missing error that you're possibly getting on your computer. So this can happen on a multiple softwares or programs. Uh, for me, it was happening on like my PlayStation 3 emulator, and I'm going to kind of show you what you can do to fix this. So the first thing is we're going to open up RegEdit, and I have a couple of like screens open up that's kind of give you like a little bit of walkthrough what's happening. But you're going to open up your basically registry edit, where if you just go to the bottom right and just write RegEdit, it comes up. In here, just be careful not to touch anything else other than what I'm saying. If you're familiar with this screen, great. If not, because this can change your basically your registry of your computer itself. So what you're going to do is in HK local machine, you're going to click into software. And again, you can just follow the guide up here. Uh, we're going to find Kronos. We're going to find Vulkan and we're going to find driver. So we're going to kind of like double click into driver. And then over here, we're going to just make sure we're going to create a new D word 32 bit, bit value file. And what we're going to call it is basically this link that I have over here. And I'm going to kind of show you how you get that link as well. So you're going to basically, let's just edit, rename. We're going to call it exactly that. Then you're going to basically double click into that and make sure the value is zero and the hexadecimal, and it's the basis hexadecimal. And then that's it. You Once you're done over here, you can technically kind of like leave this specific place so just to give you background what's happening is most likely you have the dll or the driver it's just not being picked up and this is where you kind of like give it that go to let it be read by those softwares or programs that like no this computer or software or whatever has said drivers and everything you don't need to do anything else i think i spelt it wrong so actually just supposed to be jason apologies for that let me just do it one more time don't want you guys to do it wrong all right same thing make sure it's zero and hexadecimal and yeah so the way you get to this file is what you're supposed to do is in here so there's a way to get it for if you go to your local disk you can basically go to windows and within windows it's like basically follow this along you might yours might be a little bit different but in system 32 there's something called driver store so let's find it driver store and in here so here there's a bunch of stuff and these are like all the different dll's and whatnot you can just search on the search bar jason j-s-o-n i don't know if it's jason or j-s-o-n <laughs> um you search that up and you can try either or if 64 doesn't work try with 32 but your system location is literally right there it shows you what it is you can right click it and, and then just go to the uh, sorry you can right click it and go to the file location and just get it from there like the information just pops up over there you don't need to like do anything else that's all you have to do to get that link once you do it Try the software again. If it doesn't work, restart your computer and try again, and then you should be good to go. And yeah, that's literally all you have to do, and then you're good to go. So yeah. <laughs> if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. Um, if you overall have any other issues or something else, let me know that as well. I can make a video on that. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, more tutorials out. Peace.